This week on Fuzzbeat Unsolved, Mystics, we discuss the multifaceted legend of St. Ursula of Britain and her 11,000 virgin followers. 11,000 virgins? We'll talk about that later. We better. I'm itching to learn about what the deal is with all these virgins. Well, let's get into it then. St. Ursula was a princess sometime between the years 300 and 600 AD. She was engaged to a man of high standing, Conan Mariadoc, the governor of Armoria. Her story begins with Ursula traveling a great distance to meet her betrothed. Road trip story. I love it already. Road trip story with a twist. Wouldn't be a good road trip story without one. Ursula begins her travels, bringing with her 11,000 virgins. There it is. Just wait, it gets better. So you're telling me, when asked who she wanted to bring along with her Mm -hmm. on her little trip, Mm -hmm. this girl is like, oh, give me all the virgins you got. I mean... Do they meet more virgins on the road, start a little traveling theater group, or a band? Ursula and the virgins has a pretty funky kick to it. (laughs) Their first EP is called Save Room for Jesus. Their hit single, God's Plan. God's Plan. God's Plan. I hold back. Is there more? No, they hold back. It's what they do. (laughs) Okay, back to Ursula. So Ursula and the Virgin set off on their journey. Where they actually went is widely disputed, but the outcome of each story is always the same. How could they not know where they went? Didn't they have ye old find my iPhone back then? The maps of Google. I mean, in their defense, nothing was super well documented as it was, you know, 300 to 600 AD. I mean, you would think that there was some general location. Well, if you let me finish, I was just getting to that. Oh, well then, please keep going. Thank you. Ursula and her followers took a ship to meet Ursula's future husband, and that ship met the very unfortunate fate of getting stuck in a storm. Everyone on the boat would have perished if it hadn't blown into a Gaulish port. God's will, you tell me. God's plan, if you will. Wheeze. After they arrived at the port, Ursula decided that she and her followers would go on a pan-Europe pilgrimage, and they all headed for Rome. Once there, Ursula invited the Pope, Pope Siricius, and a bishop, Sulpilus of Ravenna, to join them on their travels. Yes, yes, I love it. (laughs) The road trip story continues. Ursula and her virgins and the Pope. (laughs) What a power group. On their journey, Ursula and her traveling companions found themselves in the city of Cologne in Germany, and there they were confronted by the Huns. The Huns? Like the creepy bird guy and his friends from Mulan? Man, what a crossover. I mean... Let's get down to business. Wait, 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 wait. To defeat... What are you doing? The Huns. Stop. Did they send me virgins when I asked no. for signs? <laughs> the Huns ended up massacring Ursula and her 11,000 followers because they refused to copulate. Ursula, being the group's leader, was shot through the heart with an arrow concluding the sad tale of her martyrdom. Wow. Took a turn, right? Yep. Feel bad for joking about the Huns now? Little bit, honestly. It's a pretty gruesome end, too. And no one made a big stink about this. Like, 11,000 people being murdered in this town. Or were they like, how those silly Huns? Boys will be boys, I guess. (laughs) So, like, that's it. Sounds pretty solved to me. No, there's different theories. Theories of what? What really happened. Then what are you waiting for? Let's get diggy with it. There are four main variations of the story of St. Ursula, all widely debated by different historians. Each of these differs slightly from the other. Theory one, Ursula was escaping her arranged marriage. This theory states that during her voyage, Ursula discovered the true religion of her intended husband, Pagan. (gasps) Yeah, the horror. Mm -hmm. This discovery shocked her, and she could not fathom marrying a man who did not worship God, so she fled to Rome in hopes of gaining salvation from God and the Catholic Church, only to run into the Huns along the way. Do you like my BuzzFeed on self voice? Lovely. Thank you. Theory 2. There were only 11 virgins. What? Yeah, only 11. 
how hard is it to count people? Like, did the guy in charge count the people? Like, one, two, three. Oh, there's too many people and I can't count maybe 11,000? Guy in charge of what? Legend writing? They left a really big margin, too. Like, oh, you know, it could be 11 or like... 11,000? You decide. Theory three. The women were sent to be wives for the settlers of Armorica. This is widely debated, but this theory states that King Dionotus sent the women to be wives for the settlers of a newly founded region called Armorica, located in the westernmost part of present-day France. Ursula was intended for the ruler, but the ship with the woman never arrived. Theory 4. Ursula never existed. What? Yeah. So, you're telling me that there's all this stuff, and I got excited for a person and her 11,000 virgins that might not even have existed? There's almost no record of Ursula or her 11,000. 11? Or 11 virgins in Cologne. Pretty much all that lasted is a series of legends. Regardless, whether or not there were 11 followers or 11,000, whether she was escaping her marriage or had just gotten a little lost along the way, because of any lack of real evidence, St. Ursula's real story will forever remain unsolved. unsolved. <laughs> yeah!